The endocrine system regulates many body conditions with feedback loops. Each feedback loop has the following components. Stimulus, a change in a body condition. Production cell, an endocrine cell that produces a hormone after being affected by stimulus. Hormone, the signaling chemical. Target cell, a cell receptive to the hormone. Action, what the cell does when affected by the hormone. Response, the overall change in controlled body condition as a result of the feedback loop. Exercise, or not having recently eaten, causes a decline in blood glucose concentration that stimulates alpha cells in the pancreatic islets to secrete glucagon. Glucagon targets liver cells and causes them to undergo glycogenolysis, a process that breaks down glycogen into glucose. It also promotes the formation of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, a process called gluconeogenesis. The glucose is released into the blood and blood glucose concentration is restored to normal levels. A decline in blood glucose concentration caused by increased metabolic needs or physical exertion stimulates the release of growth hormone releasing hormone from the hypothalamus. The releasing hormone targets the somatotroph cells in the anterior pituitary to secrete human growth hormone. Human growth hormone targets liver cells and causes them to undergo glycogenolysis, a process that breaks down glycogen into glucose. The glucose is released into the blood and blood glucose concentration is restored to normal levels. Human growth hormone also targets adipose cells. HGH causes adipose cells to undergo lipolysis, a process which allows cells to use fats for energy instead of glucose. With cells using fat for fuel, blood glucose is spared, so blood glucose concentration is returned to normal levels. In summary, HGH causes liver cells to undergo glycogenolysis. HGH causes adipose cells to undergo lipolysis. The resulting response of HGH secretion to both cell types is the increase in blood glucose levels.